Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my third online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is parts of plants, uses and spring. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. Remember, you can always use soap and water as well. Just make sure that you run your hands for 30 seconds under a tap. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing language, creative writing and problem solving. Let's start our lesson today, boys and girls, by going to page 9. On page 9, we are going to be doing some language skills. Today, we will be talking about regular and irregular plurals. Now, there are some rules we need to follow. Rule number 1 says, when there is a noun and we add an S, it becomes a plural. Like, bags, books, chairs. Rule number two says if we add another S or a SH or CH or an X or an O, then we have ES, then it becomes foxes or brushes. Rule number three says if there's a Y, we take it off and put IES, like babies and berries. But if it is a vowel sound, the Y stays where it is and all we do is add an S, like toys and boys. Then the last rule we have is that if there is an F we, or an FE, we remove it and put VES, like knives and wolves. So these are the rules that are going to help us today. Remember to look back at them before you answer. Let's take a look at number one for the first few using the word bank. Now, if we have man, tooth, and child, we need to now find the plural. Remember, singular means one, plural means many. Let's take a look at the board. Now I want you to follow me both on the board and in your booklet. We're going to do the first one that says man. This one is one man. But if they become many, the only thing that changes is the A and it becomes an E. Men. So go ahead and write men next to man. For the next one, we have one tooth. So, if we have one tooth and then we have many of them, it changes by removing the O's and putting 
E. One tooth, many teeth. Well done. Then this one for the word child. We have one child, but if they become many, it changes to children. So go ahead and you write the word children. Good job, everyone. So that's the help I'm going to give you for that page. The rest of the exercise, look at the clues you have for the rules and then make sentences by changing the singular into a plural. Take your time with that one. Let's now move on to the next page, page 10. On page 10, we are going to have so much fun with the... Yes, creative writing! Now, creative writing, boys and girls, is when we come up with sentences using either the words we've been given or the pictures. Today, we're going to be using both. It says, look at the pictures above and write short sentences for each. Use the words below to help you. Now, as you can see, we have six pictures, each one showing different stages of plants growing. So we're going to take the first two that we can see and we're going to use a few of the words as well. Let's take a look at the board. Now on the board I have decided to use three words. Dig, soil and seeds. And I'm describing what I can see in the pictures. If you look carefully in your picture, the first one you can see is an instruction. Dig a hole in the soil. I have used two words, dig and soil. Don't forget to put your full stop and your capital letter as well at the beginning. Then the next picture is also being described in a sentence. I said, the seeds are in the pot plant. I've used the word seeds. So take your time. Say your sentence out loud and use the words in the word box to help you. If you need to think about it before you write it down, that's a very good, well done. Just make sure you describe all of the six pictures. When you're done with your creative writing, boys and girls, we move on to some problem solving sums on page 11. On page 11, we are going to do the first one together. The first one says, My plant has 27 leaves. A worm eats 10 leaves. How many leaves are left? So it's all about the leaves for the first one. And we hear that there were 27 and a worm ate 10. Now we have to decide, are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or share? In this case, boys and girls, the word left tells us what we need to do. We are going to take away, which means to subtract. Let's take a look at the board and see how best we can do that. Now we know we have 27 leaves and we're going to take away 10. So we need to come up with a sum that will help us. In this case, our sum can say 27 minus 10 equals. Now you can use your fingers, you can use counters, you can even use your mental strength to help you with this one. 27 and we take away 10 n becomes 17. I want you to check. So that means that if we were to write a sentence, it would say there are, then we put our answer, 17 leaves left. Take your time when you're doing story sums. I know sometimes it can be tricky, but once you know what to do, it'll be so much fun. Have fun with all the activities for today. 
Please read carefully and check your work before you can move on to the next one. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson. But I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do, it's okay to ask an adult for help. But make sure that you complete all your work by yourself. Now that we are done, we need to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is very important because we're trying to get rid of all those nasty germs. So sanitize as regularly as possible. And it's okay to ask the next person to sanitize as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi and I are going to go to the park and I hope he's around now. Sashi? Oh, there you are! Are you ready to go to the park? Wonderful! So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! <laughs>